it was the interview heard all around the world. Chris, that's a great way to put it. 11 months ago, News Channel 5's John Kosick first introduced us to the one and only Charles Ramsey. What was the reaction on the girls' faces? I can't imagine to see the sunlight to be around. Well, I knew something was wrong when a little pretty white girl ran into a black man's arms. Something is wrong here. Dead giveaway. Dead Charles, giveaway. Charles, thank you very Dead much. Dead giveaway. That interview made Charles Ramsey an overnight sensation. Now, as we approach the first anniversary of the miracle on Seymour Avenue, Ramsey is telling the rest of his story in a new book. And that book hits stores on May 1st. That is less than a week before the first anniversary of the night a man, Gina, and Michelle were rescued from Ariel Castro's House of Horrors. News Channel 5's John Kosick was the one talking to Ramsey in that interview. That video continues to get a lot of play online. Real unbelievable. It has more than 15 million views online, nearly 8 million of those on newsnet5.com. Dead giveaway, the auto tune musical version, has more than 22 million views. Now, Ramsey hopes dead giveaway, the book, can be equally successful. They are the two words that have been synonymous with Charles Ramsey since May 6th. Very Dead much. Giveaway. And they are the two words that make up the title of his new book, set to be released in paperback May 1st. The book starts with Ramsey's side of what happened that day on Seymour Avenue and the media frenzy that followed after this interview went viral. He also goes in depth, according to the book cover, on hamburgers, white folks, and instant celebrity, with the promise what you saw on TV doesn't even begin to tell the story. That's what he's selling. But are you buying? I would like to read it. It seems like it would be a pretty good book. I'm interested to see like what the what his background is and what you know prompted him. I mean, a lot of people, if they were in the situation, would have maybe walked away from it or minded their own business. Not everyone's on board. He didn't do enough to read a book. <laughs> the girls' lives, that would be interesting. Yeah. Those books are in the works with Michelle Knight's Finding Me, a decade of darkness due out May 6th. Amanda and Gina are working on a book together, but it won't be out until next year. Back on Seymour Avenue, the home of Ariel Castro is long gone, and in his mind, neighbor George Blake wants to keep it that way. It's over now. I don't want no memories of it. Neighbor Richard Parks may buy the nearly 200-page book, but wants to know more first. If he's trying to tell you the public or something what really should they should know, maybe, or if he's just trying to put a dollar in his pocket, it's a difference. Well, the book is going to be selling for $14.95 and can be pre-ordered through either Amazon or Ramsey's website. The publisher tells me they'll be doing much more with Charles leading up to that May 1st release. And, John, we really haven't much heard much from him. He's kind of kept a low profile over the past several months. You know, for as much as an Internet star as he became, yes, he, he really kept a low profile indeed. You know, people ask me, hey, have, you, have you talked to Charles? And honestly, I have not talked to him since that night, May 6th, a year ago. Tempted to reach out to him numerous times for right. different stories. But, yeah, he has kept that low profile. But we expect to hear from him now that this book is yeah. coming out. Oh, I bet indeed. we'll see him. <laughs> yeah. All right, thanks.